You're watching NBC for New York. The news for your health, an easier way to treat prostate cancer. It works just like a CAT scan. Taking aim at prostate cancer, the high-tech treatment with fewer side effects. Nearly one in five men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Radiation therapy is a proven treatment, but there are risks, including damage to healthy organs and debilitating side effects. But there is another option. After living in Greenwich, Connecticut for a while, Andrew Fenning returned home to England last year. Before I left, I had a biopsy done. And they called me in England and said, whoops, you have, uh, you have prostate cancer. He had early stage single focus prostate cancer and immediately started doing his homework. I desperately tried to find someone who was actually say, do this. And of course, no one actually says, do this. They say, well, you could do this. He returned to the United States for a type of image-guided radiation therapy called tomotherapy. The machine first obtains a CAT scan and then delivers high doses of radiation with extreme precision. So with daily image guidance, we see the organ that we're treating and we can make any adjustments as necessary to be precise to within about two millimeters. The radiation lasts only a few minutes and as with traditional radiation, patients are treated five days a week, but this is far from traditional. The radiation beams fit around what we want to treat and avoid the normal structures, thereby reducing the side effects. Andrew Fenning continued running, biking, swimming, and golfing during his nine weeks of treatment, which ended in May. His only side effect was some pain while urinating for the first week. His PSA levels are continuing to drop, and he says he feels great. I feel like I'm some sort of cheat. You know, I never knew I was sick in the first place. I mean, it was, you know, and, and, and I never knew I was being treated. I mean, you know, I, I felt nothing from beginning to end. Well, doctors are also using tomotherapy to treat other cancers as long as they're not widespread, including lung, brain, head, neck, and gynecologic and breast cancer.